Like a lot of young couples today, Ruth and Jack dreamed for a long time about building a home of their own. And we'll have the living room right here so we can see the children playing in the yard. Children? And there is no one factor more representative of the American citizen than the home in which he lives. The realization of the American dream. The American dream is dead. Donald Trump talked about draining the swamp, but he now has more billionaires in his administration than any president in America. I take great offense to anybody who calls me the foreclosure king. Hounded low-income tenants with a barrage of lawsuits, eviction notices. We can't fix a rigged system by relying on the people who rigged it in the first place. Get these crazy rent increases, evict people, and just do it all over again. His gray hair comes from that. I got two kids. We're not in numbers, we're human beings that have lives. And just to be displaced arbitrarily at any point. They're more concerned with just the money. I think they're scum lords. And there's no accountability. These investors are just killing everybody. It's no longer mortgages, it's rentals. Wall Street entities buying up single family homes. Securitizing and bundling those rents, not dissimilar from the same securitized mortgages that led to the foreclosure crisis. We are in a state of emergency. Our constituents, residents of California are, are suffering mightily. They're being displaced, being pushed out. Folks can't live in the neighborhoods and in areas where they grew up, can't live in the communities that they love, and that's wrong. So we're going to confront uh, Starwood Waypoint. I will call security to have you removed if you don't leave now. I mean, we just need you to fax that. Okay, I will call security to have you know that they should be removed. Yeah. We gotta fight. Let's go! The American dream is indeed on life support. And it's these corporate CEOs that are pulling the plug. I'm Scott Letiri. And I'm Terry Hardesty. We're currently working on our feature-length documentary film designed to shame and expose these corporate billionaires. And we plan on confronting these profiteers and putting the pressure on politicians to make change. As a producer for two of Michael Moore's films and a reporter in the field for many years, I've seen stories come and go, but Scott, nothing quite like the housing crisis. And as an Edward R. Murrow award-winning investigative reporter, we plan on taking our investigative skills and turning the cameras on the 1%, but we need your help. Money to help pay for equipment and a kick-ass director of photography. And an editor who can help shape our vision. So please do what you can. To pitch in. Thank you very much. For your support.